So today I would like to say a few words about the optional module Corpus Based Approaches to Language Description LSVCBL. This module is offered to students on part 3 and is normally offered in the autumn term. So I assume that corpus linguistics is probably not something which you are familiar with. So corpus linguistics is actually a fairly new method of linguistic inquiry. We, la we work with large data sets that we describe as corpora, singular corpus, and we use technology and software, linguistic software programs to study patterns of language use that are perhaps not immediately visible to the naked eye. So corpus data and corpus analysis are now incorporated into a range of linguistic fields including language teaching, discourse analysis, lexicography and translation studies. Also other disciplines in social sciences and humanities are also um, increasingly using some form of corpus linguistics. So what are the module aims and objectives? This module introduces students to the principles, analytical tools and methods used in corpus linguistics and is divided into two parts. So in the first part we deal with theoretical and practical issues in corpus linguistics and with key concepts such as frequency, collocation, keyword analysis, semantic preference and lexical priming. I also introduce students to, the, uh, to specialist corpus software programs such as Sketch Engine or AntConc. In the second part of the module, we focus on the applications of corpus tools and methods in the variety of linguistic fields, including language variation and change, second language acquisition and language teaching, discourse analysis, and language and gender. Um, the module consists of 10 lectures, which are interspersed with group work, individual work, practical sessions in the computer lab. In terms of the assessment, there are two things. There's a portfolio, which consists of four practical tasks, closely aligned with the content of the lectures. And there's a corpus project, and you have a choice of four areas. You can do a project focusing on language variation, language teaching, discourse analysis or genre analysis. So a couple of final points. It's important to keep in mind that you don't have uh, to have programming skills to be successful on this module, but you need to feel comfortable with working with computers. You feel you have to feel comfortable with analyzing language data, working empirically by um, using quantitative and qualitative methods. And this module is ideal for students who are interested in studying language and use and um, in providing empirical evidence based on a large amount of data. Uh, this module inspired a number of dissertation topics. Here are a few examples. So in the past I supervised um, dissertations of on, for example, um, analysis of gendered identity in children's nursery rhymes. Um, um, analysis of wedding discourses, um, corpus-based analysis of gender and identity in children's books, the use of model verbs in academic writing, representations of mental health in the media, acquisition of grammatical structures by French learners of English as a second language, or um, derivation of morphology in English, or representations of homosexuality in the British media.